If you completely ignore the Sister Swap aspect, Sister Swap, A Hometown Holiday, is an okay film. And I will explain what I mean by that before I get in with more information about the film, because I had to do quite a bit of research to work out what on earth was going on and why it was called Sister Swap, because it just seemed so irrelevant. But in saying that, I think the second film, Sister Swap, Christmas in the City, would make more sense with the Sister Swap aspect. They were both released, I think, a couple of weeks apart in 2021, and they deal with two sisters, uh, played by the Williams sisters. We have uh, Meg, who is the protagonist in this film, played by Ashley Williams, and her sister Jennifer, played by her real-life sister, Kimberly Williams Paisley. And this film focuses on Meg, and she's gone back home for the holidays. So she's spending time with her family, with her parents, with people she knows. And it focuses on them trying to restore this cinema for one last screening before they have to probably sell it. And that's a nice enough narrative, and I liked it. But because she'd gone home for the holidays, and she was around people she didn't know... It, she hadn't really swapped lives with her sister. Yes, she went back home, so she wasn't in her usual environment. But it's not like she was encountering people who were in her sister's life, who she'd never met. It's not like she was living this entirely different lifestyle. It's just that she'd gone home for the holidays. Which, again, as a narrative, is perfectly fine if you ignore the sister swap aspect. Occasionally, she will have a phone call with her sister, who is actually living in her sister's hometown, and helping out, Jennifer is helping out with Meg's restaurant, and we get tiny little tidbits of information regarding that. And as far as I'm aware, Christmas in the City, the other one, does focus on that, and we get the story from uh, Jennifer's perspective, and because she's helping out with her sister's business, she's living away from home, she's not around people she normally you know, spends time with or people from her past, the swap aspect might work better there because it is actually having a new life, if you like. Obviously, I haven't seen that film because for some reason, Sister Swap, A Homemade Holiday is currently available on Hallmark on Amazon Prime in the UK, but they haven't made the other one available. So if I actually need to watch both to fully enjoy them, it wasn't very sensible to just release one of them. I can buy the Twin Pack DVD for £15, but I didn't care that much for a hometown holiday to do that. But if anybody has seen Christmas in the City and can confirm that that does feel like the sister swap element is more relevant, please feel free to let me know. Um, but with regards to a hometown holiday, uh, it's fine. The narrative is okay. I didn't like Meg. I really didn't like Meg at all. I didn't care for her as a character. Sometimes I found her to be really irritating, actually, and I I just couldn't get on board with her, so I didn't care for her part of the story. None of the other characters are that interesting either. I wouldn't say I disliked any of the, the other characters, but in general, there wasn't really anybody who drew me into this, and maybe that's because they're trying to do two stories, with this one getting, you know, maybe 70-80% of the attention, occasionally we'll switch to Jennifer's story and get a tiny bit from that and it just feels so unnecessary. It's just a story about a woman going home from the holidays, reconnecting with people from her past and helping to restore this cinema. That's a nice story. The swap aspect is just pointless because she hasn't swapped lives with her sister. She's just gone home for the holidays. But maybe it makes more sense with the other one. I think Hallmark just wanted to do two films with the Williams sisters, which is fair enough. And it's an interesting concept, but unfortunately the execution is absolutely terrible. So if you're looking for a film about sister swaps or about people who swap lives, this isn't a good one to go with. But if you just want a nice enough Christmas film about somebody who goes home for the holidays, then as long as you don't find Meg to be too irritating, then it's okay. It's got a lot of Christmas in it. It's definitely a festive film, so that works very well. But unfortunately, otherwise, I don't recommend it. And I don't know. I really don't know if I want to see the other one. I don't know if I want to see Christmas in the City. Part of me doesn't, because this one was just not very good. But also part of me is very curious. 
Interestingly, it's got the lower rating. Christmas in the City has 5.9 out of 10 on IMDb, while um, A Hometown Holiday has 6.3. So, I don't know. I, it seems like this one's more popular, but I feel like the other one sounds like it would make more sense with the sister swap aspect. So I think I might watch it if it becomes available, just to settle my curiosity. But please feel free to let me know if it does make more sense. Either way, Sister Swap, A Hometown Holiday was an interesting idea, but very poorly executed and not a film I'll be watching again.